problems in the Riven matchup. So Thresh gonna go aggressive, lands a hook, but shouldn't be able to be followed up too much by the Bane. Doesn't land a condemn into the wall. Great return poke from Rofine. And interesting little tumble into the lantern there. So mid lane. Quite even right now. And bottom lane continues to get pushed in, but Vayne doing Vayne not actually CSing the return very well. Actually down over a wave now, almost two waves. And Alistar up at the top it actually brought this HP differential up uh Brought the HP differential back quite a bit, as well as the CS. Uh, doing a lot better for himself now here, and great potential gank here. Going to not get the knockup, just barely, but the nice WQ flash in from Sean on that Alistar, and that will be another kill for Walnut High School. This early game going exactly how they wanted it right now. Every lane except for mid lane, which is basically even getting a nice advantage, and they're just... They need to push this, and they can, they can push this, and potentially end this game quite quickly. Everything's going well right now. Jarvan, a substantial lead on this Lee Sin. Uh, before this wave, he's actually going to get a lot of this and catch up, but no buffs on Lee Sin. Still going to make it a bit difficult to make things happen. He should hit level 5 here, or come very, very close. He does hit level 5. So Jarvan did hit level 5 too, so Riven is very behind, missing that whole wave as you saw. Alistar is halfway to 6, Ribbon going to be hitting 5 on this wave most likely. And bottom lane, Thresh continuing to get poked out, Vayne's healed up, but that Thresh still get taken chunks. Silver Bolt Smacks coming out from Vayne. Telling me he's looking to rush a Bork or a PD, potentially one after the other. Lucian continuing to put the pressure on with Morgana, Thresh getting very low in lane. And CS lead is holding pretty steady here. Top lane trying to aggress, but that Alistar just doesn't really care. But a lot of damage actually coming out from Riven here. He's going to headbutt him towards. Riven putting out a lot of damage on his Alistar. Alistar should hit 6 first, but it's getting really close now. He's got to make sure he survives to that 6. If he does, he'll be fine. But he's got to be a little bit careful. Taking a lot of damage, even with that cloth armor. Riven... Oh, he looks to be a bit more of an aggressive build now. Got the no magic. I'm assuming that'll go into a hex drinker. And yeah, Alistar very close to six, but Riven's getting very close too. Uh, Riven shouldn't hit it on these two, and Alistar should hit it on this wave, but probably won't be able to aggress on it. Aggress with that level advantage, but at least he'll be safe. Vayne taking a lot of damage. I'm assuming he got binded. And they're just playing it very dangerous right now. Unfortunately, Jarvan's got to pick up his red buff right now on the top side of the map. So he can't come down for a dot. <laughs> that potentially would have been very big because they're very low and Jarvan's very strong right now. Find and Soil does not land. Some aggression here on the top lane. Big trades. Nice Q landing there from Rofine. He's actually playing this lane out very, very well, and they should be forced to back here, and this CS differential was only growing. 1k gold lead for one high school, and he's gonna find Lee Sin out here. They spotted each other, pings go out. Lee Sin's gonna walk forward, though. I don't know why. He's gonna spot him out with the ward. Not going to throw a Q over, though. Just love tapping that ward and leaving. I'm just in showing himself. I'm not sure what's going on here. Why? What are they doing? Soup looking to aggress a little bit, but there's no way he's going to get anything, and they're just going to go back to farming, and lots of damage. They're actually going to take the bottom tower. Uh, I'm not sure if I agree. That will give Vayne a little bit more CS. It's going to be very risky for them to push, but this gold lead is substantial now. This is a this is getting pretty iffy for Westview, but this is a good play setup. But he shows himself. He should have just waited in that bush for his bottom lane to come up. And let them start the red, and that would have been a kill. Misplay from Westview there on something that could have potentially turned a lot. And there's a ward put out by Syndra, I'm assuming. Yes, soup on that Syndra will shut down any aggression that Westview tries to pull now. Now they've just got to be aware of taking their own red buff. Doesn't look like they're going to force the dragon. Alistar does have TP, but he's in some aggressive trades top lane. Riven still has ult, Alistar still has ult, but he's getting low on mana. 
this could be very iffy in the top lane right now. And uh, Lucian choosing to go back. Should have enough for BF. Does have BF. Boots if he wants it too. And Carlos just looking to make a play on this, Mor <laughs> this Moriata here. Gets a flash for just his ult. A uh, good flash there, but should have been caught out there that far in the first place. Looking for a stun on the least and gonna get him, but not in range. Binding not up anyway. And Carlos just being a bully right now in this mid lane. Lisa missing that Q, not able to aggress back on. Not turn anything. Justin Ku was there on the Jarvan anyway. Lisa actually got a level lead on the Jarvan now just because he's been uh, hanging around lane so much. It looks like he did pick up the blue, whereas Jarvan did pass it over as well. So Lisa farming up well, picking up EXP in the lanes at a bit of the expense at his of his laners though. And Riven very low, but uh, Alistar out of mana. They should back and force a dragon right now because it's very unsafe for we should be the bo in the bottom lane. And huge fight in the mid lane. Jarvan, uh, I mean, Lee Sin going down. Uh, damage going out onto Syndra. <laughs> Flesh is going to drop. Justin, the hook will land. Going a bit aggressive. I don't agree with that. Thresh will pick up the double kill. But they did lose Oriana and Lee Sin there. Two for two. And Alistar trying to aggress with no mana up in the top lane. Going way too deep. And that's three kills for Westview here. Pulling back that goal lead from about 2 or 3k. Back to 1.4k. They're going to look for a pick on the vein here. But there's a ward. And he's got to land this bind if they're going to go for anything. Kadem is going to land. I don't think Carlos has the move speed. Still has a backed. And he's going to... Spot him here as he spot Rofine here. She finishes it off this wave. And Bax, I'm assuming, should probably just call this and leave, but doesn't look like that's gonna happen. This could be really bad for Walnut High School. They don't know they're sitting on a ward. Carlos is going to get caught out here. They're gonna try to aggress, but Lee Sin is here around the side. Won't be able to get anything. Just gotta leave Carlos for dead. Rofine should not be going back into this. Carlos is still alive. You see exhaust, but Rofine won't be able to clean this up. She's got her summoners very greedy. Gonna Jarvan's here. It's just a hugely messy fight here. Double buffs back on a Jarvan after that thresh kill. EQ not up in time to go into the Lee Sin. Vayne is going to back here. Rofine actually held on to both of her summoners and they're gonna deny this wave. No, Lee Sin and Oriana are gonna pick it up. Sidra can maybe make something happen here if she lands a stun combo, but Oriana is here now, too risky. And they actually come out ahead on that trade just because they get the double buffs and they force the EXP and CS onto Oriana and Lee Sin to split it instead of letting Bane pick up all of that. So Lucian, uh, Rofine will stay ahead. They're backing on a ward here. This could potentially give up Dragon and he's actually, he's actually going to notice good reactions there to not recall right there. Knowing there's a ward, gonna get a recall cancelled by that wolf. Um, so they should be able to defend this Dragon now. Gold lead, 1.6k. Yeah, so... Uh, Riven, once again, getting chunked out here, but has ult again. Uh, Alistar's gotta be really careful. Does not have his... Uh, does have his ult, but he's gotta be watching his mana pool if he does want to dive. Leeson is hanging around too. He should not go for this. This could be iffy. This is definitely a bait. And they are going to go onto him. I don't know if he'll be able to get out of this alive. Leeson... Does have everything. Ribbon should ult. Uh, oh my lord. The, the pulverize. And this is going to be a turn. Two kills for Walnut High School. Ribbon holding on to ult for way too long. Could have just ulted. And let Lee Sin pick it up with his ult. Instead they hold on to both their ults. Both of them die. This is going to be a top tower for Walnut High School. Great. Great response from Justin Koo. He's playing this set so well. Out jungling both of their junglers. And Soup going to pick up a solo kill on the Orianna in mid lane. This game getting blown wide open. They should ro rotate Grant the Dragon while the bottom lane is uh, forced to pick up this farm. And the jungler is dead. This is just two mana this dragon. Mid lane is dead as well. This should be free. This should push the, w the goal lead even further to about 5k before 15 minutes. That's huge for one high school. They just got to capitalize on it now. This dragon should go uncontested. Uh, Justin can walk it all the way down from top lane. They've got pinks. There's a ward over the wall, but Lisa is not going to make it in time. The smiter is here. Justin Ku, our savior, will smite that dragon. 
gold lead, nearly 5k for one of the high school now. Money in the bank for all of them here. Except for kind of Carlos and Sean because he just bought, but they've got a huge power spike coming. Or fine going full Casby style. Going to save the gold. Going to wait to spend the gold and instead bah, uh, clear the minions. Should really just call this wave. Good. Good choice to call the wave by Rofine here. Way safer. And dodging out that hook. Gotta be careful she doesn't get condemned in the tower here. No support for her anywhere across the map right now. Everyone very, very far away. Uh, she's gonna be very afraid right now. She does have enough to buy her Infinity Edge, but she's not going to choose to back right now. Gonna greed for all the farm possible before going back. And now Walnut High School has gotta start taking, gotta start pressuring the jungle and taking this mid outer tower to blow the game wide open. Mid outer is the most important tower in the early game. It allows so much aggression into the jungle because you just have so many paths, especially once you get the other outers. And with this team that can make picks so easily, as soon as they get that mid outer tower, this game should open up and provided they get it early, keep this pace up and this goal lead, they should have this game in the bag before the Westview team can scale up. Especially because this Vayne isn't completely held down, but this, just, this Oriana is very behind. 15 minutes, still doesn't have Athenes, and it's 500 gold away. Um, they're just playing wards. They gotta be a little careful because they don't have any vision of Lee Sin and they don't have. Oh, teleport going out actually from Alistar. Very good to play. Carlos going to get his ult flash almost immediately and Soup not in a position to cut off the, the Thresh. Oriana is. Lee Sin is down here. Just the crew is very, very far away. They gotta be a little careful. It's a 4 on 3 right now. And Bind lands on a vein. That should keep them alive. They're gonna go for the aggressive play here. Great black shield though. Iceborne Gauntlet, they're gonna try to turn it around, flashes forward to ult. Damage going on to him though, Vayne way too far in front, so is Oriana, Soup is here, here comes the turn, double kill for Syndra, they can keep going, but they're not going to, two. they're going to settle for this tower, and Jarvan on Justin Q is going to go into this top lane and deny the Riven from pushing the tower, he's too strong for the Riven to dive, got too much armor and health, got that Lizard Elder, bottom tower, tier 2, will go to Walnut High School B. Great turn from Soup, getting there just in time. And that's great play from everyone on the high, um, those three that were down there initially from Walnut High School. Staying alive long enough for Soup to come in and completely turn that gank around. They have a huge advantage now, nearing 7k. Three towers to none, 10 kills to four, one dragon to zero. This is just going the way of Walnut High School and Jarvan is going to pick up a lot from this top lane, uh, from holding this top lane and playing so passive that the Riven can't uh, capitalize on anything. No tower, no kills, trying to go aggressive here but it's, Justin could actually probably kill this Riven. She's got, a, she's got a lot of armor and mana and the red buff but it looks like he's going to set it up for uh, Sean here, catches her out of the E, red buff in the Red buff in the EQ lands, waits for all the dashes. The E comes back up though, but at the WQ, miss Sean on the flash. They're not going to pick this kill up because of it. It shouldn't matter too much, but that is, that is a, just very, very unfortunate. Could have pushed that gold lead a little bit further. Not a huge deal in the long run, just unfortunate that I wasted that flash. Uh, Perfectly played there from Justin. Waited out all the dashes, just that low cooldown on them because of that brutalizer. Kept her alive there. Got that last E off to save her out of the drive and all and stress. <laughs> Kinda just walking menacingly at Rofine, but doesn't throw out a flay or a hook. Rofine's gotta be a little careful, but here comes Carlos. Gonna get spotted by a ward, but should be okay. He's got Black Shield, gonna sweep it. And they're gonna back off. Very afraid. Don't want to take that TV2. Bro, fine. Very strong right now. Got a lot of crit built up. A little bit low on the attack speed, but that. But when the team is so ahead already, it doesn't matter too much. Very aggressive from Super. He's going to pick up the Slay Sin kill, and here comes Car uh, Sean. A little too far ahead, though. Going to get ulted off. Not able to follow up is Soup. A little bit of miscommunication there, I'm assuming. Sean wanted to go out. Soup needed to get out of tower range while the Ignite was ticking for the Lee Sin. But uh, at the very least, they got that pick on the Lee Sin, and now it looks like they're going to siege up middle. 
Just gonna look for Colossus Binds and Syndra Stuns. This is the power of Syndra, that range stun, so deadly, and they've got 